24 hours a day. Let's begin first at 430 by bringing you up to speed this afternoon. Republican lawyers have settled a lawsuit against state elections officials. Settlement will allow all counties to cure or verify early ballots. This means counties will now have until the 14th to check with early voters whose signatures on the ballot doesn't quite match the one on file in an attempt to verify their ballot. A man is in custody accused of pulling a knife on an apartment property manager. It happened during a fire at the complex on Vogel and 14th Avenue. Police say the manager was investigating a fire in one of the units when the suspect confronted him. The 41-year-old victim wrestled that knife away from the man. The incident is still under investigation. Suspect who police believe shot and killed 37-year-old Adelbert Yazzie last month is now in custody. 33-year-old Christopher Wambach Fields faces a first-degree murder charge after an investigation led police to believe that he shot Yazzie multiple times on October 28th at Madison Park in Phoenix. A new e-cigarette ban. The FDA says they will ban the sale of flavored cartridge-based e-cigs at convenience stores and gas stations nationwide. An announcement is expected to be made next week. That move comes in response to an alarming increase in vaping by minors. Public health experts say the fruity, candy-like flavors found in e-cigarettes are targeted directly at children and teenagers. One person is dead, more than 100 more sickened in a salmonella outbreak linked to raw turkey. Centers for Disease Control says the strain of salmonella has been found in a variety of turkey products, including ground turkey and turkey patties. Cooking the meat thoroughly will destroy the bacteria.